There are two holes. One is air hole in the back. You unplug this hole and uh, never plug it back. Just leave it open. Then there's a refill hole in the middle, uh, sealed by a clear plug. We'll use uh, like uh, something to poke it in and remove it. The two holes are connected, and if you find uh, one hole is really hard to get ink in, you're filling the wrong hole, you're filling the air hole. The another one is very easy to get ink in, and you won't damage the printer if you use the wrong hole. It just takes a lot, really, really long time to fill from the air hole. We're going to borrow the plug from the air hole to seal this. So the refill hole is sealed and the air hole is open. But the only time you want to seal the air hole is probably you take a cartridge to somewhere and uh, you don't want to spill. Uh, other than that, uh, just keep it open. Uh, here's my secret touch and uh, it's an optional step. If you happen to have a priming uh, tip, Use the priming tip to draw a little bit of air uh, and from the bottom until you can see the It's highly optional. Uh, just for me, I like to do that to reduce the chance to get the clogging. If you don't have a tip, um, you can get one very cheaply from uh, our website. It's under accessories and uh, syringe and needles. Uh, so this guy, four piece plastic uh, refill needle tip for quick ink, tra ink transfer and the priming CS. Oh, by the way, uh, this is sublimation ink, and uh, that's why uh, it looks so weird. The black look like a brown, and uh, the sublimation ink you have to do a heat transfer to show the true color. Secret ingredient. Okay, here's one error that we got lots of calls. Uh, once you install a new set of cartridge, and it says a folding cartridge cannot be detected, uh, the reason is you probably opened up the, the lid without letting the printer know. So it's pretty easy to uh, correct. Okay, let's uh, click proceed and open up the printer. You can see once you unclick the uh, the cartridge, uh, the one on the corresponding LCD uh, panel is grayed out. 
once you pr you press it down and uh, it slide up again and I'll, I'll just unclick the magenta just for sure then we'll continue And then we get this happy screen. You have not installed genuine Epson cartridge. Uh, yeah, of course, uh, this is not Epson cartridge. Proceed. And uh, warnings, okay. And uh, do you want to still use this ink? Yes. Done. And after we have an, a nozzle check, it turns out that the yellow is uh, is clogged pretty heavily. Um, the magenta is uh, partial of a part of magenta is clogged. Uh, of course, we do two uh, building cleaning functions. Then wait two hours. Then then two more. Then to do two more. And uh, after that, it's still clogged. Uh, we also made some printout, and you can see the yellow, uh, the clock yellow. It's time to bring out the big guns. We use this. Uh, triple action cleaning solutions which is at accessories and anti-clogging agent the triple cleaning solution work on dye pigment and, and sublimation ink because this ink is a sublimation ink so we have to use the triple cleaning solution which is green color we turn on the printer as soon as the cartridge can move we unplug the printer the reason is we don't want the printer to lock the cartridge so we cannot move it anymore. Then we take a piece of paper towel, put it underneath the, uh, the ink pad, and then we move the cartridge to the middle. Then we use this tool from uh, accessories and uh, priming clip and syringe. And uh, it's this unclogging syringe tool for Epson. Um, this is nothing special about this tool, it's just a syringe with a tube, but the tube is tested to fit perfectly and tightly with uh, the ink intake. So uh, make sure that uh, when you pick up the tool, make, uh, make sure it fits the model. Otherwise, you may have a bigger tube, and uh, so the ink will, ink will be everywhere uh, when you use it. And uh, we fit one end to the ink intake, and another side with a syringe. When we squeeze, remember to not squeeze too hard. And uh, it's like uh, half the half the um, force as you squeeze a lemon to make lemonade but uh, twice as hard as an uh, old lady squeeze a uh, peach. Um, yeah, that, that's how it, that's where I put it. Uh, you're gonna feel the, you can, you, you're gonna feel the print has opened up and then you can, you can inject consistently uh, with, with, uh, uh, with a cleaning solution. You can see is yeah now it's the breakthrough that unclog it. Now you can gradually push the uh, push the cleaning solution in, inside. And the uh, first. Uh, first cleaning
as horrible as expected. And then do another cleaning. Perfect. Okay, let me show you how to uh, deal with uh, warning messages. You might get this warning message that uh, the ink is low. And you try to reset the chips, the chips on the cartridge, and nothing happens. The reason is uh, your cartridge is auto reset, so there's no way you can reset it manually. So what we're going to do is just ignore those warnings. Just click OK, yes, and just keep using the printer. And just print more pages, and just ignore all those messages. Uh, they are just trying to get you into the store and buy real Epson cartridges. Just say OK and uh, nothing can happen. Okay, you just keep printing until one day this happens as I cannot recognize the falling ink cartridge. This is great because the Magenta cartridge has been reset and the, pin, the printer cannot figure out how can you uh, get a new cartridge but you, you didn't open the printer lid. So let's fold the printer. So we took, don't forget, click uh, proceed. Okay, then open the printer door. And now, what we're going to do is uh, just do exactly what the printer says. We took the magenta out. No, mat no, no matter how many ink in the cartridge, we're going to fill it all the way up to the top. And uh, um, plug the refill hole, keep the air hole open, then press it down until we see the magenta icon light up. Then we we'll do a check. And it says good. Close the scanner scanner unit. Actually, 99% of the time we should do whatever apps ask us to do. Okay, remember the happy screen? You have not installed genuine apps and ink cartridges. Magenta. Perfect. So what do we do? Proceed. Proceed. Not quiz. What we what we gonna do with this screen? Yes. So if you see the ink level, it's full. Okay, let me uh, uh, do a heat transfer so I can show you the true color. Uh, so you don't have to look at this ugly, uh, ugly black anymore. So we print off a page on the transfer paper. Uh, so what you do is you print on a transfer paper, and uh, you can uh, you can uh, press it. Press this is called hot press. You can press it on uh, on, on uh, any kind of uh, polyester directly. And, or you can press on uh, treated uh, cotton. Uh, if you have a cotton, you have to have a kind of treatment. And also you can press on uh, uh, coated uh, ceramics. And uh, vinyl, you can do it directly. So you have to um, you figure out like, uh, how you're going to treat the material. Um, so basically we print on a piece of um, uh, t-shirts, which made of vinyl. Oh, I know. Um, the polyester t-shirts. So when the ink is heated, it has a uh, it has a phase transfer. It transfer to another phase, 
and now it show true color. So now you can see black is black, yellow is yellow. And of course you need to write everything reverse in reverse. I hope you enjoyed this video. Visit us at www.bchtechnologies.com. Thank you. Have a good day. Cheers.